In this video we will continue to practice drag and drop method and how to handle the camera. So we need a new 3D scene, so I'll click this button. And then I'll come over to the starter catalog I will drag an extrude shape and drop it here. Then I will change the camera angle, so I come down here to click the pop-up menu here and select top front right and also fit scene button. Then I will select uh, the box, click on the box so that we come to the feature level so that we see the size box handles. Now we will change the length of this one. So I will grab this handle by pressing the right mouse button. So when we hold the right mouse button and drag we will change the size symmetrically. So we can change it in both direction. So I will drag a little bit and then I will let go the right mouse button and then I will type 150 and hit enter. Then I will click the fit scene button and I will do the same with this handle. I will grab it with the right mouse button, grab and hold, then drag a little bit so that I will change in both directions and will let go and I will type 50 and hit enter. And then I will select the height handle and change to 30 millimeters, like so. Then I will deselect the box by clicking here in the scene. And then I will add more materials. So uh, come up here and select an extrude shape, drop it on this side. And we will now use the handles so that it will fit perfectly to the to this box. So I will grab this handle, use the shift key to snap to the side. Then I will grab this length handle, use the shift key to snap to this side and then I will move the camera to this position. Grab this handle, use the shift key to snap to the side. I will move the camera a little bit more. Select this handle, click the handle and then type 20 and hit enter. And I will continue to drag another extrude shape and drop it on this side and do the same as I did on the other side. So I will grab this handle, use the shift key to snap to this side, grab the length handle, snap to that side, move the camera a bit, I can move it to this position. Grab this handle, use the shift key to snap and I will click this handle and change it to 20 and hit enter. Now when this one is selected in the feature level I will use the shift key to select uh, this part or this uh, box here. So both are selected in IntelliShape level. Then I grab the height handle now I can change the height of both of them in the same time. So I will drag a little bit and then I will let go the left mouse button and then I will type 30 and hit enter. Then I'll come down here to select top front right camera angle like so and then the fit scene button. We will add more geometry so I will come up here to select a cylinder. So I will grab the cylinder and I will drop it here on the midpoint of this edge. So the question is now, will the cylinder be placed perpendicular to this face or to this face when I drop it here on the midpoint of the edge? So I will drop it here and we see that it will be placed perpendicular to this face. And that's because the camera angle is wider toward this face than to that one. So that's why the cylinder is uh, placed perpendicular to that face. But I want it to be uh, placed horizontally along this edge. So I will delete this one. Then I will move the camera to this position. And then I will grab another cylinder and I will drop it here on the center point of the edge and I will drop it here. And now it will be placed perpendicular to this face because the camera angle is wider toward this face than to the other one. So this is how I want it to be. So I will move the 
camera to this position like so and then I will grab this handle use the shift key to snap to the side and then I will grab this handle and use the shift key to snap to this edge and I will grab the diameter handle use the shift key to snap to this side and I will do the same on this side so I will move the camera to this position so when I grab another cylinder and drop it here in the midpoint of the edge it will be placed horizontally so this is how I want it to be move the camera to this position and do the same procedure grab the handle use the shift key to snap do the same on this side use the shift key to snap to this edge and grab the diameter handle and use the shift key to snap to this side and then I will make a hole a cut a hole through the whole bracket so I use the cut cylinder drag it and drop it here on the center point grab this height handle use the shift key to snap to this edge and change the diameter to 30 and hit enter then I will select the um, top front right camera angle. So by using a drag and drop method you can easily create a bracket like this one. So I will close this scene and I will not save it so I click no 